Listen to me, my son, for I know what I'm talking about. Listen carefully to my advice, so that wisdom and discernment will enter your heart. And then the words you speak will express what you've learned. Remember this, the lips of a seductress seem sweet like honey, and her smooth words like music in your ears. But I promise you this, in the end, all you'll be left with is a bitter conscience. For the sting of your sin will pierce your soul like a sword. She will ruin your life, drag you down to death, and lead you straight to hell. She has prevented many from considering the paths of life. Yes, she will take you with her where you do not want to go, sliding down a slippery road and not even realizing where the two of you will end up. Listen to me, young men. And don't forget this one thing I'm telling you. Run away from her as fast as you can. Don't even go near the door of her house unless you want to fall into her seduction. In disgrace, you will relinquish your honor to another, and all your remaining years will be squandered, given over to the cruel one. Why would you let strangers take away your strength while the labors of your house go to someone else? For when you grow old, you will groan in anguish and shame as sexually transmitted diseases consume your body. And then finally you'll admit that you were wrong and say, if only I had listened to wisdom's voice and not stubbornly demanded my own way because my heart hated to be told what to do. Why didn't I take seriously the warning of my wise counselors? Why was I so stupid to think that I could get away with it? Now I'm totally disgraced and my life is ruined. I'm paying the price. For the people of the congregation are now my judges. My son, share your love with your wife alone. Drink from her well of pleasure and from no other. Why would you have sex with a stranger or with anyone other than her? Reserve this pleasure for you and her alone and not with another. Your sex life will be blessed as you take joy and pleasure in the wife of your youth. Let her breasts be your satisfaction, and let her embrace intoxicate you at all times. Be continually delighted and ravished with her love. My son, why would you be exhilarated by an adulteress, by embracing a woman who is not yours? For God sees everything you do, and his eyes are wide open as he observes every single habit you have. Beware that your sins don't overtake you and the scars of your own conscience become ropes that tie you up. Those who choose wickedness die for lack of self-control, for their foolish ways led them astray, carrying them away as hostages, kidnapped captives, robbed of destiny.